Hello, viewers, <laughs> and welcome to the Porter's take on Disney with our take on Mickey's not, not so, so scary, scary Halloween, Halloween party. party. <laughs> All right, so let's get underway. We're gonna try to make this quick for you guys, but um, we're kind of making this video because we have been. But I have to let you know, we were very on the fence about whether to go before we actually did go. Yeah. So, yeah, we were on the fence going back and forth. Should we do it? Should we not do it? You know. And this was 2013 when the cost of going, I think we seriously paid like maybe $60 <laughs> yeah. for. I feel it, like was it was like way, 59 I, Well, yeah, it was like a $30 <laughs> decrease from what it is now because right now it's nice. Seriously, it's <laughs> unbelievable. But um, yeah, we were, we were on the fence at that point whether or not to go. Um, we did not buy tickets before going down to Disney. Yeah. Uh, we ended up having a chat. Was it the day we got down there? Yeah, with guest services. I think, yeah, it was... Um, a cast member at guest yeah. services at Pop Century. We just kind of had a little chat with her and an honest chat saying, you know, you know, and she kind of said, if you have the money and, you know, she, she said, and you are on the fence. I she said, she, go. yeah, she said that it, she thought that it was the best party that yeah. Disney puts on. And uh, she said, if you like parades, the, the Halloween parade was well worth seeing. And that kind of pushed us over the edge to give it a shot. We yeah. took a chance. So that's kind of why we were making this video. We want to just let you guys know, if you are on the fence, this is what the opportunities you have for you if you go are. And uh, yeah, if it's something that's worth it to you. So um, we're gonna keep this a little bit structured, but um, the first topic we'll talk about is, is the best times to go. Yeah. Yeah, so we went on a Sunday night and it was actually, we actually went on a Sunday night the Sunday before Halloween. We did. We went on October 20th. Seventh, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so we were, uh, that was pretty close before Halloween, and, and the mm -hmm. fact that the parks were pretty light was pretty impressive. So, what I'm kind of saying to you guys is, is if you go on like a Thursday night, it may be kind of busy, but if you go on a Friday or Saturday, it's going to be really busy. So, our suggestion kind of is to do like a Sunday through Wednesday or Thursday, yeah. at, if at all possible. Um, if you are an out of towner and you're going down to Disney for um, a week, mm -hmm. you know, to, that would be our suggestion is definitely try and hit it up one of those nights. Um, also, the earlier you go, and I think it started last week, two weekends ago. Yeah. Two weekends ago now. Um, yeah, definitely better to go earlier in the year before you get yeah. closer to Halloween. Yeah. And actually, if you're gonna, if you're thinking about it, I, I honestly, I don't know if we would have been able, to, like this year, if we tried to pull the same thing off, if we were going on, I don't know if we would be able to get tickets. No, I don't think so. Yeah, which is kind of impressive that we ended up getting tickets for in the first place. But yeah. um, yeah, and. That's, we're talking calendar wise. Now, if we're talking about times to literally go to the party, um, you can enter the park with your ticket starting at four o'clock. The party doesn't actually start until, until seven. seven. So if you're not doing Magic Kingdom for the full day, mm -hmm. you wanna get there at four to get your bang, you know, your money's worth, we'll right. say. Your bang for your buck. Um, that way, most nights, I think those parties are open till midnight. So, you know, if you show up at eight, or I'm sorry, if you show up at four, you're getting, you know, you're getting a significant time, you know, amount of time in. Yeah. So that's definitely one of our suggestions is make sure you show up early and uh, yeah, then you can start at least taking advantage of being in Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, from a costume standpoint, you can still wear costumes, even adults can, yeah. but there are some additional rules that have changed over the years, definitely since we went. Yeah. Um, some, I, it's actually not as stringent as I really thought it was, but um, you can still wear costumes if you're over 14. There yeah. was rumors that you weren't going to be able to. Yeah, it, earlier but, in the year there were. Yeah, but this is only for, Mad, for Mickey's house, yeah. Queen's not so scary house well. party. <laughs> it's a lot to say. Um, but yeah, th their whole thing is is that they don't want you wearing multiple layers. So, or masks, right? Yeah, I don't think you can wear masks. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, <coughs> and also, anyone who's over the age of 14 should not be taking pictures with random guests. Um, that that kind of confuses uh, people as to who you know who the Disney, right. you know who's pr the official Disney people and who's not. So uh, that's something else to keep an you know an eye on and remember while you're there. So, with the exception of that, go all out. I have to admit, we did not, since we didn't plan on going, we didn't actually dress up. If I went again, I probably would. Um, the one thing I would say is, is, is you still are in Orlando, so, you know, don't go dressing as Santa Claus and, you know, if not, 
I don't know. You may, be, you may be just a big Tim Allen fan out there. And he wants to be the Santa Claus. But you're going to sweat your butt off because it still it's still is. It's going to be hot. It's, yeah, it's, it's still Orlando. That's what I'm kind of saying. But, um, yeah, definitely go go all out. Have fun with it. You know, that, I saw some lady. I really wish we would have planned for it better. Yeah, I saw some lady who dressed up as Bre the Merida from Brave. And she got to take a picture with Merida from Brave. She had a, oh, like a whole she look better than Merida? Um, she looked close. Okay. It was it was really good and um, it was really funny because she was having like that Merida greet the guests to take the pictures with right, right. the Disney yeah, That's kind of funny. Yeah, she did a really good job. <laughs> that's cool. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is is trick or treating. Honestly, when we went, I didn't. At first, well, I was. We kinda, didn't do any of this really. We did do trick or treating. We did a little bit, but no, we, we absolutely did trick or treat. But it was after we did some of the rides. We'll explain at the end <laughs> what, what kind of what we did, but this is our tips. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I and mean, actually, what we did was the very smart thing, not really knowing. We didn't. We went in with like no planning. We didn't know any. Yeah. Of the tips. Now we're we like totally went. different. Oh, we, we, we totally are. Um, but yeah, our suggestion would be if you're there to trick or treat and yeah. they have plenty of candy and it's actually pretty good candy. Yeah, it by is. The it's way. Mars candy. It's great. It's yeah, well, they have that, and then they also have like a lot of and like I'm now obsessed with them is uh, Werther's. Yeah, we and we brought home a home a whole bunch of home a whole bunch of yeah. You're like, later. <laughs> we, we did a ton of trick or treat. We we lucked out. I think like a year later, like we were. Like packing up did. some stuff. Yeah, we found and some extra candy. Yeah, we're like, like what we the have heck? this candy. Yeah. So our tip though is is to if you really really are serious about getting candy, you yeah. can get a ton. Well, bring, bring your, your own, own bag because they give they'll give you a bag and it's cute. It's, yeah. But it's like an advertisement for yeah. Disney movies, but it's not that big. You can so. also I think you can buy. We bought one. The light up, not yeah. so scary yeah, bags. If you want to buy one of those, and they're like in a standard. Um, like here, grocery bag. Yeah, goes, I don't know canvas. I don't the know recycled bag. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, they're yeah. called. Yeah. So um, yeah, and it's also, I I'm not sure what the actual time is that they stopped. I think they do the trick or treating pretty late into the night, at least mm -hmm. until Hollow Wishes. Mm -hmm. But the later you go, the lines actually drop down. Yeah. So we kind of. I think we honestly started trick or treating only because the line was really short. Yeah, and I was like, they let's were. Let's go and get some candy. <laughs> there were like two people in line. We're like, hey, let's yeah, go. Yeah. So anytime. We didn't go out of our way to find it, but anytime we saw one, we would but just go out and They were giving us, candy. like, mountains full, yeah, because they just... were so happy just to, like, have people yeah. asking them for candy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so uh, next up is shows and parades. Um, the shows have changed. Well, kind yeah. of. The big show changed from can when I, we were there. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. While we're talking about this, what is that lady's name in front of the lady who? In front of... oh, I forget her name. But is she considered a show? Because she's pretty lady, funny. It's ladies. I always want to call I her Lady Marmalade. <laughs> Lady Marmalade? I don't know why. I forget her name. I know her name. I just heard her but name But would you spoken. consider her a no, show? No, she's not a show. But she's, she's funny. We'll get to that, we'll get to that okay? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to make this video 20 minutes long. <laughs> so we'll get there. So Hocus Pocus is the show at yes. the stage in front of the castle right yes. now. Which is then followed by Hollow Wishes. We yep. have not seen Hocus Pocus with the exception of... I, we watched it maybe last year yeah. on, like, on like the Tim Trek or something like that. Um, but I, I, I don't, I haven't really seen it to really be able to no. give an honest opinion of they, it. They did a villain show when yeah, we were they there. They did a villain show when we were there. So, um, Hollow Wishes is pretty cool. It's kind of like and Wishes, but with a Halloween spin. They have two showings, right? One at nine and one at Depends on the night, I think. Okay. But yes, we, we, they do two showings. I think of everything. Yeah, I think it's like at nine yeah. and then eleven or something. So I think there like was two. That. Yeah, I think there was like two Hollow Wishes. Yeah. So, so if you're an adult and or even if you're a teenager and you're going to be sticking around later, the suggestion is do all the later shows. That's yeah. what we did. We yeah. actually. It wasn't as busy then. No. It was no. much better. Yeah, absolutely. We were able to get our seats for the next thing that we're going to talk about, the Booty You Parade. Pretty Which, nice. In our opinion, yeah. the Boo You Parade is why you go to. Yeah, the, the, I'm not even. I'm not a parade guy, but this was an awesome parade. Should I tell him about the the, the guy that comes through? The headless horse. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, you can tell him. I'm sure most people know, but you can tell. They have a really awesome headless horse in there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He comes through. That's like the main thing. So yeah, if you go, you need to. It's amazing. Go and it see literally, it. it looks like there's a guy running through. I don't know how they do it, but it's, 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 it's Disney magic. It it's is, amazing. and uh, the Grave Digger guys. Oh, they're my favorite too. They are awesome. The dancers. Oh, I love well, them. They're but they're, really, I mean, they, they have yeah. shovels. Oh, it's, I, I love them. Yeah, I mean it's a dance, but it's not really a dance. No, but they're just amazing. Yes. So Almost. that is our probably our biggest thing is, is make sure you see the boo to you parade. Yeah. It is awesome. Um, 
we are not really big on this. <laughs> no. And this is a big reason to go, but we will let you know, even though we're not huge on it, most people are. Yeah. Character meet and greets are a massive thing. And I don't think you have the opportunity to meet more characters than you do yeah. during uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And characters you don't get a chance the rest yeah. of the year to get pictures with. Um, we did see, we've probably, I kind of regret, there was like no line when we, I think they just came out. Um, Seven Dwarves. Yeah. That's a pretty big one. They always come but out during Halloween. the biggest and the line was insane. So... Mm -hmm. We just caution. Yeah. We're letting yeah. you know now that the, you will be waiting a long time. But they do have Jack Skellington and Sally. Yeah, we kind of saw him in passing, and that was we good did. for us. <laughs> yeah, if I can find a picture, I'll put insert it He's here. He's really but cool, though. Yeah, it, it was cool. So that's kind of our structured, you know. Yeah. Now that's our tips. We'll kind of tell you really quickly because I want to wrap this up. But what we kind of did, our kind of thinking was is is we want to do as much as we possibly yeah. can. We played our cards really well, especially for being inexperienced, yeah. where we kind of got in there and it was our first, that was our first day in Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. So we ended up going on a ton of rides. And I know to some that might be like sacrilege, but <laughs> there was like no lines. There was no, no lines I think in the we rides rode, like all. every ride twice. It was amazing. So we literally <laughs> got in there. I think we got in at about 6.30 because yeah. we were at Animal Kingdom earlier in the day. Yeah. And from about 6.30, honestly, until I would say 9.30, yeah. we did the majority of the rides in the park, I think. Yeah, and I think by the time we got to Magic Kingdom, we weren't bummed if we missed a ride because we were like, we did all these rides. Oh, you did the second day yeah. that we went to Magic Kingdom? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we did everything. No, we were yeah. able to complete yeah. everything. Yeah, it was great. So, oh, and we forgot <laughs> to mention that they have really good treats, too, like actual... I was going to get there. Oh, I was okay. just explaining. What oh, we're... okay. I wasn't yeah. sure. Yeah, so that was what we did early in the evening. We just did a bunch of rides. Oh, like, yeah. You're someone who really likes rides, and you were like, oh, man, if you want to take advantage of a short line, this is it. Yeah, and I, I would say Madam any Halloween her face is, <laughs> Yeah, Madam What's-Her-Face. I forget her, Madam... Lady, Madam Lady Marmalade. <laughs> okay, I'll insert the real name or a picture of her. She sits outside um, Haunted Mansion and kind of talks with... What do you mean? Or you just she's so really, funny. She is. She's hilarious. She's worth kind of chatting with if you get the chance. She's really funny. Um, it's, and it kind of adds an extra layer of creepy to, yeah. to Haunted Mansion. We probably honestly did Haunted Mansion like, like five, five, five times that night. I don't think we ever waited more than five ride. minutes. It was amazing. Yeah, plus, I don't know, you're there at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. It just kind of made sense to me. To but yeah, then we, we, we honestly, I think it was, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, we did all of the second showings of the yeah. nighttime shows. So we still were able to, you know, do a lot of the Halloween stuff, but we took advantage personally, as opposed to doing the character meet and greets, which I understand is a rare thing, but yeah. we're just, we're not big into that. So we were really able to take advantage of the lines. So that yeah. is our tip is, if you're there for character meet and greets, then you can easily spend your whole night doing that. But if you like rides, you can also yeah, oh, do a yeah. ton of riding yeah. on rides. So uh, that's kind of like our like our our look is a little bit different than most people's, where we just really love the fact that we were able to get on the rides fast. Yeah. Um, yeah. As Christina mentioned, um, going back, I don't think we really took advantage of it. We like, didn't, but we bought a popcorn bin, and that was really awesome because yeah, we didn't like, get a Halloween. Yeah, yeah but they have like bin. all sorts of different kind of food there. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know. What she's talking about is 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 that and we talked about it in Mickey Minutes last we'll week. We'll link that yeah. somewhere. Up yeah, we'll absolutely link that. Um, is that they have some cool design cupcakes and yeah. you know, and, and different treats. Se seasonal things for that time of year. Ne that yeah, you know, a, a, like a, a spider cupcake. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing, which is cool. You know, that I would honestly probably, if I were going this year, I would probably get that Worms. Yeah. A little, like, cup of Oreo the dirt. dirt. Yeah. Yeah, I think, delicious. I think this year, too, they're doing a refillable popcorn bin thing. Oh, I'm sure they are. Yeah. So. Yeah, so that's kind of. That's good stuff. That's. We, we think it's well worth going yeah. to. Um, we are slightly bummed while we're very excited that for our trip that we're taking. The fact that we probably will be able to take advantage of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Yeah. We still are really bummed that we're not going to be able to do Mickey's Not So Scary Yeah, Halloween because it was so much fun. It is awesome. The vibe in the park is just really kind of spooky, the, but still the decor with a Disney. It's really pretty. It is. I'm sure the Christmas is going to be very cool. Oh, too. sure, sure. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of, uh, that kind of wraps up. Um, if you guys have any additional suggestions for people who may be on the fence 
please let us know what your thoughts are, what your cool tips are for Mickey's uh, not so not scary. So scary. I was about to say very really. Yeah, uh, oh. not so scary Halloween party. Um, yeah, please let There's us know so what you guys think. <laughs> and uh, if you have additional questions, if you're still on the fence. Uh, with the exception of the fact that you're complaining that it's ninety dollars a person, uh, I'm with you on that. So I have expensive. no way to uh, I have no way to help you out there. But um, yeah, if you have questions, otherwise, please uh, ask us, and we'll give you our feedback from what we thought when we went three years ago. I know it has changed a little bit, minor tweaks like the uh, hocus pocus change, mm -hmm. but on the overall, I think it's probably very similar. It's the same thing. Yeah. Yep. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and we hope we've been helpful and uh, and entertaining at the same time. And we <laughs> thank you guys, and we will see you soon. We'll see you soon, Pat. Bye. All righty. Goodbye now. Happy hauntings. <laughs>